हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते ऑल सेट फॉर टुडेज आर्ट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद आवर लास्ट सेशन जेंडूडल व्हिच वी स्टार्टेड एंड वी काइंड ऑफ कंप्लीटेड विद द ड्राइंग बट वी लेफ्ट विद लॉट्स ऑफ शेडिंग इन द लास्ट पैटर्न and this is the pattern which we drew last and we are supposed to complete this pattern today with all the shadings and then we will start our new pattern today <laughs> okay and we uh, all the cats used to be aliens long ago okay so so yes mahi today we are going to complete the one which we left last class we drew all this and <clears throat> after this we will start this new pattern this is this one the new pattern so these two patterns you are looking there project and now let's start we'll start with the shading first so for the shading look very carefully in this one like you see these knots are overlapping each other so wherever it is overlapping we are just going to lay down graphite near it like that and little bit will do kind of flicking to the other side like that so we are supposed to repeat this pattern at every single place wherever it is overlapping so that it will give the 3 dash look and these lines will look kind of like they are properly overlapping and the um, side which is coming from the bottom of the top part is like you can see the shadow on the sides that's what we are doing right now for the shading part हेलो So this is a kind of a Celtic knot which we made in our last class so we completed this pattern the drawing part in our last session last Sunday and today we are uh, giving the final touch with all the shading part in this one as you can see with the shading thing we will give it a little 3 dash look right now we are just laying down the graphite and once we are done laying down the graphite then we'll grab our uh, any blending tool maybe the q tip or maybe the blending stump and then we'll blend all these graphites which we are laying down right now so that that will blend very well from dark to light the graphite values i mean i'm using here 2b pencil you can use any graphite pencil ebony pencil or any 2b 3b 4b any normal school pencil you can use any kind of graphite pencil for giving these little values here now i'm working on the other side
So try to stay inside the line and especially don't go over the overlapping strap of that Celtic knot or the Celtic knot I'm not really sure like because I've heard in both ways but when you see in the dictionary a kind of the Oxford dictionary and all they call it Celtic but it starts with C So once we are done laying down the graphite in this Celtic knot, then we'll start working in our other pattern shading and we'll complete all the graphite laying down in the whole pattern and then we'll grab our blending tool and then we'll start blending so now as you can see in this pattern here that's how it's supposed to be we are going to do blending in this near this knot line here everywhere all the way and I'm just laying down graphite little extra pressure as you are near the line less pressure as you are going little above so if you lay down your graphite in this way when you blend it you will get beautiful blending little darker near the line little lighter as you are going away little scrambling motion is good rotating my paper so that it would be easier and I need not to put my hand over the work so the question is really what do you recommend doing blending with blending stump or q-tip so uh, and we uh, right like you see here is kind of a precision blending so I would support I would uh, suggest you to use your blending stump the thin size so that the uh, graphite will not go up on the uh, top layer of the strap but when the area is little wider and open and there is no where is no precision blending is required then i would always suggest to use the q-tip because then it would be easier to maintain the q-tip you need not to clean it up every now and then you when you are done you can just throw it away because i have got to so wherever you think the precision blending is required use the uh, blending stump the smaller one and wherever the open area is your uh, you can use your q-tip both works kind of similar just keep your hand very light while using either one don't put too much pressure that is the main thing to take care of now I'm putting okay so before that we need to lay down graphite near these flower thingy so blending is really important part in this pattern that's why and the last Sunday was uh, guys Father's Day and it already took one and a half hour in drawing this whole pattern so I don't really want it to extend the time because everyone had some plans that weekend so and in this specific this pattern blending is really like in a lot of layers you can see a lot of layers when you blend like one two three four or maybe the fifth one and that's why the name of this pattern is entangle so but 
the main reason that we didn't complete the blending in the last class okay now the third layer of the graphite lay down is near these curvy lines and after that there are two more layers of blending can you believe this this pattern is all about blending and you see wherever these our little twigs are going so around these twigs hey Satya you are welcome I'm so happy to see you here I hope you guys are enjoying in the Discord. This AP Piano Discord. The Pokemons. Yes, they are small Pokemons. Thank you for visiting here. Sharpening my pencil. So as you see, these twigs are a little thin. So there are high chances that you go up over the twigs. So don't worry, we are using the graphite pencil. Once you are done laying down the graphite and with the blending, use your eraser and clean up the top part of the twig so that you get a very clean and neat twig and they will come move forward and look beautiful so don't worry as of now if little bit is going on the top of the twig we need to do the cleanup at the very end okay guys And I'm just turning it around so that I don't really want to keep my hand over my work just to keep it neat and clean no Aditi it started at the same time at 11 o'clock it didn't start late our mandala session time is 10 o'clock Aditi and Zen doodle time is 11 o'clock right Okay, now we are left with one more uh, laying down of the graphite. So in this one, you see we have lots of these spirals on the base. So with some of the spirals we really want to come up and some spirals we want to uh, put them down like maybe some layers in the spirals and we can achieve that like suppose this spiral i want to bring it up so uh, around that spiral i'll give little shadow so this spiral will come little up than the other spirals so we'll get one more layering so if you see there is one two three four five six layering in this pattern just with the help of these shading of course with the pattern style so 
so I'm just doing in this one circle laying down graphite as well as I'm doing one in maybe maybe this one I can bring this one little up I just see some part of it and then like that's it and then maybe this one again a little bit below this so that's all for now and now we'll start blending Ta -da! so for the blending as you can see I'm using my q-tip and I'm starting blending with these Celtic knots Try not to go outside of the strap, that is really important. Don't go outside of the knot. Stay on this line and don't go over the overlapping part of the knot. That is equally important guys. And if you, by mistake, if you are going up, if you see graphite no worries you can erase it and clean it later we are working with graphite this time we are not laying down with the pen So can you guys see the difference when we did the blending and when we don't do the blending it makes a whole lot difference At this side, That is the fun with the working with the stump that especially you know when you are working with any animal or anything and you want to blend give a very light blend in the eyes or in a very smaller area inside the ear something like that so then you can't use q-tip but when you are working in a bigger area surrounding of any any, any animal or something as before no i thought you can sweat amy doesn't do the with the and it looks really good after the shading i know yeah shading is really shading brings miracle and brings a life to your artwork you are absolutely right julia So I'm just doing a quick circular motion here and I'm trying to stay outside of these flower petals and if I go over on any petal by mistake I can fix it by just erasing over the petal at the last. So shading not only brings the contrast but also gives the shadow to act 
some point like at level so it brings it gives you that depth perception so just go over very lightly because we don't really want to spread it way too much just to blend it in a very less area that's why I'm doing so quick. Just very light. Okay. And now the second one. Just take care of the overlapping thing. Like if suppose this one is overlapping, so don't uh, put on the uh, top layer of that tray. That is the important thing. While doing shading. Sign and date. Today is twenty eighth and six twenty eight twenty. Ta da! We are done with this beautiful pattern, and the name of this pattern is Entangled. And now it's the time to start our new pattern. <laughs> okay, so uh, whoever is with me right now. Please take a second and write down either one or two in the chat. If you are drawing along with me, just write down one. If you are just enjoying watching me drawing, write down two or you are just visiting here. So please write down either one or two. Oh no, I made mine upside down. What do you mean upside down? You can just turn it around. Right, Julia? Thank you, Rasna, Julia, Prajit, Jasmina, Arvi, Uma, Tara. And now it's the time to start the new pattern. Awesome. Do you want to see the new pattern one more time? This is the new pattern which we are going to draw. And this is the one which, which we just completed now. We started last week this one. We completed this one. And now this is the time to draw this pattern. Ta-da! And for this pattern, before I start, I would like to say it would be great if you have a black marker pen. Absolutely, absolutely. Of course, you have to have it. But if you have a big, little bold, big black marker pen, then it would be great. If you have a white jelly roll pen, something like that, then it would be awesome. As you can see, Volume is too, too low. Okay. Can others also uh, give the feedback about the volume? How are you guys feeling about the volume? Is my voice clear to you guys or not? So, now, what I'm just uh, doing is, you guys can see your, uh, some battle royal is going on. So, before we start, you guys can see the battle royal as well as yes it is now the volume is much better thank you tara and if you guys have that this white jelly roll pen then it is awesome you see these little these little circles i drew with white jelly roll pen over the black one but if you don't have this white jelly roll pen please leave some area for this white circle 
and don't fill the hole with the black okay so we'll discuss i'll remind you again when we'll fill this i thought art begins at 11 on sundays so it is 11 15 then no we started it at 11 aditi we started it at 11 okay and congratulations to always the big chunks one yes now it's time to start let's start guys grab your six inch by six inch sheet grab your paper i'm here using this artist tile this is a six inch by six inch tile especially made for the pattern drawing or the meditative art and they are the vellum surface they are very smooth to draw with and if you want you can first draw with the pencil and if you want you can directly draw with the pen the way i am drawing it's absolutely your choice so i'm grabbing my regular this micron 08 fan and the tip size of this fan is 0.5 mm and First, I'm drawing a wavy line which is going from this bottom left corner to the top right corner. Okay, so line is pretty wavy. It's going in, out. It's okay. Uh, it is just supposed to be wavy. That's it. then on other side also we are going to draw the same way wavy line it's kind of getting a little smaller as it's going further that is the only thing which we should take care of otherwise it's pretty organic-ish Kind of line it's okay a little bit wider smaller thinner every way it would be fine and the next step is wherever these humps are coming out in this wavy line we are going to join these humps with this wavy line with little slanted inside lines like that Try to make your these lines a little slanted going in. Like this. That's it. This is the next step. I'm waiting for you guys for for a minute. How to know which Pokemon are allowed on YouTube? Can you do mine? <laughs> how you pinned yourself i'm not sure how you are pinning you guys are busy playing okay so whoever is drawing along with me uh please uh continue drawing i hope you guys are let me just move it a little ahead so that you won't get Please don't disturb in my drawing area, okay? <laughs> Hello, mom. Good morning. No, good evening. Okay, so I hope I'm waiting for you guys. Are you guys done drawing till here? Shall I move forward? I'm asking whoever is drawing along with me. See, people wrote one, right? Yes, Mahi, Pushpa, Julia, Tara, Jasmina, Julia, are you guys done till here? Awesome, thank you. I was looking, going up. So now in these uh, curvy area where we draw that line, look carefully. I'm just doing it this way. So I'm just doing in this section you see this curve going up so we are going around this curve like that and 
We will join here from the corner. So that's how we are creating an illusion of this going down a straight kind of a cliff thing. So that's how we are going to complete in each and every these section around this curvy line. Draw slow, take care of the shape and every time join it from this corner, the bottom corner so that they all look they are going in. Pattern drawing is always relaxing. They are called the meditative drawing. Awesome. So we are done to this drawing to this level. Now it's the time to grab the pencil and we are going to draw a layer of flowers or maybe the shell design all the way around this line. As you can see here, so we are going to draw this structure. So before we start drawing this structure I would like everybody to grab the pencil and draw some guidelines around it okay Julia I'm waiting no worries so today we have some guests uh, guys they are uh, you know my son uh, Aditya he has his AP piano uh, YouTube channel he plays piano so he has his own discord server so they all are from uh, uh, the discord server from AP piano they are visiting here uh, for me today thank you all of you so they all are like the piano music lovers Awesome piano players, yes, absolutely. Awesome. Now we are going to draw here this line. So, like, try to leave some gap here because this is the area where we are going to fill this black line, and little bit shells, these shells will come over, spill over this side. So, just leave this line a little bit here and don't worry about the corners corners will fill with the other fillers so here we are going to draw kind of this squarish kind of structure and we will divide it one two three actually i just want the one two three four five okay one two three four five yes so i got these five squarish rectangularish kind of shape in our guideline and that's absolutely fine and i drew it little circular way as you can see 
I drew it very light. I hope you guys can see it. Let me draw it a little dark. No worries. Because eventually we are going to cover it up. So this is the guideline and I'll erase it later if required. Okay. Okay, thank you, Julia. <coughs> so now, as you see, first let's work outside, okay? And then we'll work inside of this. So from this out corner here, we are going to draw this one. one one the first shell this will be the first layer so <laughs> That's awesome project. So I'm using uh, Micron 08 pen and the tip size is 0.5 mm nidhi. Let me focus it again if you can see yeah this is the pen which I'm using and now again I'm making second layer of the petals or the shells whatever you want to call the these structure and we'll go more we'll go with one more layer okay guys There is no hard and fast rule you can extend this pattern as wide as you want as big or as less it's absolutely depending on your paper as well as to the pattern you are drawing like for us this space is pretty good to show with now we'll work in inside of the block so i'm just focusing a little more so that you guys can see it clearly on the first block as you see this petal is going this way so if you guys are working with me in the spiral arts so now this is the spiral art we are doing so we will do like this draw this line and this is the one which we are doing then here we will make this again and as you can see here So this is the spiral art kind of thing absolutely which we do so we drew just these two lines and then we will draw a beautiful circle inside here so we drew these two petals inside at each side absolutely the way we drew the spirals and this inside circle we will leave the highlight area and we'll fill the rest of it and if you have the white jelly roll pan you can go back with the white area thank you always so that's how we are going to complete it so look again 
so first I drew this line and near here I'm just drawing this slanted line and converting it into round from the corner right and then from the other side I will go again slanted line and converted it into round corner then again here slanted and converted into round corner and then again we'll go slanted here slanted here slanted here so that's how we'll make two petal round at each side and the circle in the center with the highlight and the fill-in. That's how we are supposed to complete this whole pattern. I'm again drawing very slow. You guys can, if you want to take a look, you can take a look. And if you get the idea, you can go ahead. So draw the line, draw the slanted petal, draw the slanted petal, Draw the slanted pattern. And the circle. If you have any questions, please ask me. And now I'm left with the fifth one. The last one and after that please write down in the chat when you guys are done till here then so that we all move forward together I'll erase this pencil line no worries That's it. So right now it is looking very flat because there is no shading or anything and there is no black color filling around. So but this pattern will come up very beautifully when we will give the shading and will fill the surrounding area. Okay, no worries. Please write down in the chat when you guys are done till here so that we all move forward together. Thank you, Aruna. No problem, Julia. Take your time. And guys, in the Patreon channel in Discord, I have uploaded the all the list of all the supply list of this mandala, which we are going to start from our next class. So please be ready with all the supplies for this mandala because we will draw both mandalas side by side. We'll start with this one also and then uh, we'll do the background coloring and everything and then we'll come back again to our 11 inch by 11 inch mandala so that we can work in two mandalas together no problem Mahi I'm waiting I'm waiting Prajit take your time complete the pattern take your time I 
hope everyone is enjoying here. your supplies awesome Julia thank you Rasna thank you Prajit thank you for your feedback guys it is really helpful and now it's time to fill these corner areas so that our this these uh, this pattern will go all the way so it is really very simple we are just going to extend so suppose like you see I am left with this area so whatever area you are left with just take take a look take a call so I'm kind of making my this circle here absolutely the circle it's kind of going like this way you see the circular line I'm filling the circle first take a look and then draw okay don't draw right now so now here I'm just drawing the center petal and I touch it all the way here and then these are the normal petals as you know keep growing keep growing keep growing until you think you're touching to the corner and if you want you can add one more petal if you're left with more space and if you really want to fill it so there is no hard and fast rule guys plan according to the space you are left with okay so that's how we are going to fill at one corner and absolutely to the other corner as you can see I filled this one here I filled with these two flowers so if you are left with more space you can make two flowers and maybe you can just make one flower with lots of layers the way I did here so depend on your space depending on your space decide as you see in my original pattern I drew two flowers on this top but in this pattern I just drew one flower so and we move your paper down we can't see I'm sorry can you see now Envy? so I was just showing like here I did two pet two flowers and here I just filled it with one flower so whatever space you are left with decide accordingly and fill that space okay in this one in the bottom I just drew one flower with two or three layers so here I want to fill this space now this bottom area so here I'm making my circle here and I'm filling rest of the area and my this flower is growing mostly to the right hand side because I need to fill that space okay this time there is some FedEx or I don't know your area you can increase the this pattern extend this pattern in whatever shape wherever whatever shape and whatever area you want to fill just uh, go accordingly and fill that space now we have absolute this clear passage where we are supposed to fill everything with the dark black pen okay guys so before we start using dark black pen we are going to fill this area also we are going to complete drawing in this part in the top of the part shall I go ahead and draw so till then you guys give me your feedback I'm just erasing these pencil lines with my this precision eraser 
I will try not to touch the pan so that less chances of blending or the smudging I mean Awesome. Thank you, Aruna. Now it's a very easy and quick pattern. As you can see in this original one, just a dot in the middle and two spirals at the each side and the dot on the corners, the smaller dot on the corners. This is what we are going to draw. And these are kind of like the filling spreading all over. You can spread in any ways, whatever you feel like. Closer, further, small, big. Do you guys live in a villa or an apartment? To whom you are asking, Rajit? We live in our home. Okay, so now you are going to start from one side and go to the other side like that. This is the first step. Look carefully. and then other side we are going to start from the other side and we'll go to the other way around so it will look like kind of the spiralish but half of way at each side and two smaller dots at the corner that's how we are supposed to draw this pattern and draw this spread pattern everywhere try to fill this area maintain the balance yes julia we live in carry and try to put them in different directions a little up down sideways don't put them in very aligned and geometric way let them spread organically anywhere in different directions so then they will look prettier and little bit big or small is absolutely fine I'm just keeping it this way so that it won't hide the design Like here I made kind of like half of the design is showing up. So do you also live in Kerry, Julia? Okay, so I'm happy with all these spirals, the small spirals. Okay. Now we are going to draw a set of three dots as our fillers, as our pattern to giving it one more element to bring the all pattern together and to make it more cohesive and balanced that's all you can put them a little bit more or less it's absolutely fine and now it's the time to fill this whole area with the black pen and then we'll work in this bottom part okay guys so here I'm using my this Kelly Art permanent marker pen and it's a little thicker. Right now I'm using the thin tip of it because I want to give the boundary neat and clean. And later on when I'm left with just the big space then I might use the flat tip. So 
so whatever black marker pen you have sharpie or any bold marker pen i would suggest you to use that because it's a big area but be very careful when you're drawing along the boundaries because it's not just a straight boundary it's a little organic shape boundary so take care of the boundary that is really important don't go inside and it's not a pencil so you can't erase it but yeah if you have the white jelly roll pen still you can fix it a little bit with that or with the whitener ink Can I see the finished one? This is the finished one, Nidhi. Do you like this? Where the white spots come? Which white spots, Aruna? Are you talking about this bottom part? We are not talking, we are not working in the bottom part as of now. We are just working in this top part as of now. Hi Sarashri. Where the white spots come? Thank you, Nidhi. Uh, I didn't get your question, Aruna. I saw thanks. Okay. It's a beautiful 3D illusion pattern also.
awesome we are done with this one side now we are just left with the pencil graphite shading in this top part and now I'm keeping my pen back and I'm just checking few of these white spots which are a little bothering me okay and you can see like you see like the same pattern but when you do the shading it gives a lot of difference can you guys make out the difference in the without the shading and with the shading pattern right shading will do at very last now it's the time to work in this lower back pattern this is the right bottom pattern so before we start i would like everybody to please grab your pencils we need to draw one guideline before we start drawing so here i would like if you want you can draw freehand or if you want you can use your ruler to draw one kind of parallel line alongside the edge of your paper or the line of your that six inch by six inch square so this is the line which i would like everybody to uh, draw as a guideline yeah that's all this is the guideline which we need okay julia no worries i'm waiting and till then i'm just darkening this line because sometimes like on the screen the light pencil is not sh shows very well so this is what i want everybody to please draw and then tell me when i should resume I'm waiting for you guys. Please write down in the chat when you guys are done till here. What is the name of today's art? So Aditi, today's art name is Lazy Lake. Can you please write down Lazy Lake? Thank you, Julia, Rasna. So now let me, before i start let me write let me show you here as you can see there are a lot of big chunks and the small circles and these kind of loops on the corner so i'm just grabbing my pen and i'm just making whatever random shape is and filling this area where i'm going to leave the space and before before starting this let me just draw the borders please look carefully how we are going to draw the borders so we are going to go little out of these lines okay and like suppose this is the one so i want this to fill here and this to go here so that it will look as if coming out like that so we are not going to draw inside these lines we are going to erase those okay and they will they these kind of loops we are going to draw on the all corners maybe a little wider bigger smaller
so we are going to fill this all these areas with the black pen and if you have white jelly roll pen then don't worry you can fill the maximum area thank you julia we can fill the maximum area with the black and we can make these uh, outlines of these spirals later with the white pen but if you don't have white pen what i would suggest you to like draw these like kind of oval area as of now and then fill the rest of the area with the black pen so that's how you can achieve it because we are working in a white paper so still you can get highlight just by without using the white pen but if we are working on a gray paper or in a blue paper or any other paper than white then you have to have the white jelly roll pen for the highlights but right now you can achieve your highlights just by drawing like that and then when you fill the surrounding area these spirals will like come up just try not to draw inside these loops and we are going to erase that so they will give you the illusion of like they are covering and going uh, holding this platform kind of thing no hard and fast rule you can make them little big wide small of any size If you have a gray marker pan then that would be an additional bonus for today's artwork I'm going to show you where I use the gray marker pen but if you don't have the gray marker pen don't worry we have some substitutes for that too okay so if you see here so these lines i drew with the very thin gray marker pen and then i filled them with the very light with the uh, graphite pencil so I, i'm talking about these lines so like i have this thin gray marker pen let me show you these are the staedtler ones so this is the little dark gray and the light gray so like wherever i want to give this little line i can just give it a little so that will give a little definite like you know uh, shading area to these structures maybe boulders or whatever you want to say so that's it but it's absolutely optional like if you don't have then don't worry you can just lay down with the pencil and draw this line with the graphite pencil and you can achieve that same kind of can you speed the part up because i'm done already <laughs> okay Anvi. i'm trying my best and now it's the time to fill this whole area with the black pen i'm doing very quick So try to fill this whole area with the black pen. Just be very careful, okay? Don't fill inside these lines. I have white jelly roll pens because that's why I'm filling most of the areas but I showed you if you don't have white jelly roll pen make these kind of structures a lot as you can see here it's kind of oops can you start the AV power again
sorry guys some technical issues yes aditi we will start the watercolor mandala as well as we'll work on our old one also so actually in the watercolor mandala as i showed you in this one so we can't work in the whole mandala in once in one session so we can save time in that way so what we are going to do we are just going to work on the base of this mandala in our next class and then we'll have the whole week to dry it up very well so that we can start working on this mandala next week again and that's how we are going to do so take keep your all supplies ready especially your um, masking tape your tote board and your paper and the colors and the brush we are not going to draw anything but we are just going to make the borders or the, the background i mean Work with full focus, especially when you are working around the corners of the structure. And so that's how you get the clearance of the structure and then start working in these. So in these structure also, as you see, we have drawn these lines. So be very careful, draw around the structure. And if you don't have high jelly roll pen, please leave the highlighted area, all those loops in the at the first place, like these loops I drew. So that will give you all the highlights without the high jelly roll pen. is saying something I hope everybody is doing great. Final project. This is the final project, Mahi. Lazy like la la lazy like yes. You know, generally in summers we used to go to those all uh, water parks and we used to go a lot on those lazy rivers, but because of this uh, thing and uh, these days all those restrictions, we are staying at home, so we can just enjoy this lazy lake yeah because this lazy lake reminds that lazy river right so if not lazy river at least we have this lazy lake we can draw
So after this, I will draw a few structures with the white jelly roll pen. Uh, maybe I take some time before I use white jelly roll pen so that this black ink seeps in very well and my white ink shows up clearly. So maybe I'll first go with the shading on this part and then use white jelly roll pen on this part after that. We have 15 minutes left. I think we can finish it. I'm doing it quickly, quickly, quickly. So only this part and shading is left right yes mahi yes we can color the middle blue instead of this so that it's the perfect lazy lake why not i would love to see your submissions go ahead and do that if you want that's a nice idea Okay, now, now we will erase all these lines, we'll erase them later and before we come at this part again, we'll first work on this top section again for the shading. I'm grabbing my pencil and I'm sharpening it again. We could come in. Okay, so now as you know all these are these structure, shell structure, we are going to shade like kind of flicking from this bottom part going up. This shading is a little different from the other uh, those structure where we just shade on the every single petal. Instead of shading on every single petal, we are just shading in all of them together from the bot uh, bottom to top with the flicking style. So just go in one direction with your pencil. same way we are going to do shading in our these flowers kind of pillars where the second layer is Third layer is you can do this kind of shading in grapes kind of thing just turning it around this side I'm using white out you can use white out no worries just don't use very thick okay if you have the white out pen, then I think it will come automatically in a thin line. 
but if you have it in the bottle you can take out in some cap or some small palette or something and then you can use any thin brush or the toothpick or something like that Hi, Hanisha. You are using the tape. I didn't understand. What do you mean you are using the tape, Julia? Tape for what? What kind of tape are you talking about? The white out tape? I didn't understand what tape you are talking about, Julia. Okay, after laying down this, we'll do lay down, we'll lay down some graphite in this uh, cliff kind of structure, white out tape. Okay, so still I'm not sure how white out tape will work in this because that comes in a straight kind of pattern as I remember. So we want to create loops kind of thing. So if it's working well for you, then please go for it. And I would really love to see your submission, like how that white tape is coming along. So where you see in the clip where we put these and so we are just giving little flicks at that area okay and now it's the time to use your now you can use your q-tip okay let me grab my q-tip also so as you can see i'm using my q-tip because this is not a very precision blending this is kind of just a straight uh, flicking so i'm just going to go over in the flicking way only okay don't go back just go in one direction quick just one or two three flicking and you are good because already when you lay down your graphite you lay down in a flicking way so you don't really need to do a a lot while blending just few more flicking and then you will get a beautiful blending if you want to know more about the flicking there is a video on the flicking in my drawing exercise that's my first hour video on my youtube channel when i started you can check that video on the flicking exercise in my drawing exercise that's the first video so that might help you if you want to see about the flicking how flicking works and how it is supposed to be there are some ways and then again flicking around these curvy structures of the cliff kind of structure in the center wavy that's it so we are done with the shading in this top part as well as in the clip now i'm grabbing my eraser and i'm erasing these lines inside these loops so that my these loops look prettier and no guidelines now because rest of the guidelines are covered with the black marker pen and i forgot to fill this area with black marker pen in here i want to draw that straight line okay and now i'm 
I'm grabbing my white jelly roll pan as you can see this is a white jelly roll pan it is again the same Sakura brand the same brand which these micron pens are they are also Pigma Micron Sakura and so they both are from the same brand and this is the jelly roll white they are pretty opaque and as you can see suppose I'm just drawing here so it comes so neat and clean so that's the fun with it right you can draw as many as big wherever you want to fill these white structure loops if you want to make a little bigger at one side you can go ahead and do like that so they are very easy to work with especially on the darker paper on the darker surface for getting the highlights i use them a lot when i make the iris and that white eye and especially the highlight in the smaller area of any animal or anything so this is really useful and this is really useful when you are drawing the whiskers of any animal so this is a good drawing tool to have if you love drawing That's all like there is no hard and fast rule you can make them as many you can make them as less it's absolutely up to you wherever you want to add them you can add them of whatever size so these two I left without I left these area and I didn't fill these two circles with the white and this one I'm making with the white jelly roll pen as you can see they are kind of similarish right you hardly can see oh there are so many things instead of coloring the rocky looking part black can I color it different yes you can color it different what do you mean by what do you mean by what W A U D E U. I'm so excited it's okay whatever you guys are asking keep continue so now I'm getting my graphite and you see where these bottom part of these rocky kind of structure I'm just going to go over them this area if you haven't drawn that gray line you can just directly go over with the pencil and try to stay in one like no blending going in it's like kind of the hard cut Kind of thing we are making here that will give a little different kind of thing like three days that's all maybe we can draw a little bit shading here coming where they are coming from the inside that's it guys we are done and I'm grabbing my stump and because I want this precision like I don't want to go over this white area so that's why I'm using my blending stump I'm not using q-tip here that's all and now it's the last time last thing to do is to sign and yes praise we should always praise our artwork always praise ourselves how we spend our time beautifully creatively and now it's the time I'm signing here I'm signing it with white pen and this is MP tada and today is 628 62820 20. that's it that's all guys i hope you all enjoyed and i can't wait to see your submissions you will get your submission link in the submit artwork channel in discord very soon maybe in the next five ten minutes for both of the artwork and i'll just make one folder for the both of the artwork so submit your both artwork these two both means i'm talking about these two artwork 
and please submit these both artwork in that channel in that submit artwork folder and that's all okay guys thank you aruna thank you julia thank you everyone for joining me staying with me drawing along with me and don't forget to submit your artwork and if you have anything to say me write down in the feedback thank you nidhi for joining me bye bye see you all